Greetings, today is Friday, October 18, 2024. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. At the time of recording this video, it is 6 a.m. local time in Belize and the Yucatan Peninsula, where close attention should be paid to the evolution of Invest 95, which could strengthen into a tropical depression or tropical storm before reaching Quintana Roo or Belize by tomorrow, Saturday. I'm recording this short video because Invest 95 continues to show signs of cyclonic organization. And early this morning, the National Hurricane Center has increased the chances of cyclonic development to 50% before it reaches land. Regardless of its development, this system can bring heavy rain and winds across parts of the Yucatan Peninsula, Belize, northern Guatemala, and northern Honduras, so it's important that residents in these areas stay alert for forecast updates. Let's briefly look at the latest projections from the global models. Here we have the GFS model projecting that it will arrive as a tropical depression or tropical storm over northern Belize during the afternoon on Saturday. We also have the European model, which also agrees that we may potentially have tropical storm Nadine entering northern Belize and southern Quintana Roo. The German model also aligns with this projection, so there's a strong consensus that it will reach these areas, at least as a tropical depression, and we cannot rule out that it could strengthen into tropical storm Nadine. I suspect that during the day today, the National Hurricane Center will designate this area as a potential tropical cyclone. We'll be monitoring to see the first official forecast from the National Hurricane Center. In general, all members of the GFS model ensemble develop at least a tropical depression with a trajectory over central northern Belize. But remember that the system's circulation is quite broad, so its effects will be felt as far north as the states of Quintana Roo, Yucatan, and Campeche in the Yucatan Peninsula. The ensemble members of the European model also agree with this projection, with a trajectory over Belize and northern Guatemala. This is why the effects will be felt across various southern Mexican states, Belize, northern Guatemala, and northern Honduras. According to the latest projections, between 150 to 250 millimeters of rainfall is expected over parts of eastern Yucatan Peninsula, particularly over central and southern Quintana Roo, where significant flooding could occur. By the beginning of next week, this rain will move toward parts of Tabasco and southern Veracruz. Also, further south, in northern Honduras and eastern Belize, 100 to 175 millimeters of rain is expected to accumulate over the next 48 hours. So be alert to the possibility of flash floods today and throughout the weekend. In terms of winds, gusts of over 75 km per hour are projected to affect the coastlines of Quintana Roo and Belize, so take this into account, especially in coastal cities. Well, that's all for this forecast update. I'll record a new video later this afternoon to provide the latest updates on Invest 95 and also talk about Invest 94, which will pass north of the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico later today. To make sure you don't miss this content, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to click the bell to receive notifications when I post new videos. I hope you all have an excellent day. See you later.